Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Earlier today, my good cousin from Canada sent me in, uh, an article, and in the article there's a, uh, an interview, and I will play about a minute uh, of that interview, and that is with a person that I heard from him about the guy, uh, Poliev, I think his name is a, a candidate, so he wants to be, I don't know, a prime minister of Canada or something like that. Well, my cousin sent me this for a different reason, but while I was listening to um, that uh, interview conducted with uh, this gentleman, this man, because I don't know if he's a gentleman or not, so with this man, uh, I was like, look at this guy. I don't know his policies. I never listened to this guy. I don't know what he stands for. I listened to this interview and I said, oh, interesting guy. But what I would like to show you is something that I was pointing out before in my videos. And he this guy, Poliev, I think that's the way, that's his name. Um, if I... Poliev, yes. And uh, this guy, he scored some good points for me. Why? Because he got outside of the situation and asked the, I, I would say, weasel interviewer, the question says who? How do you know that? Give me an example. You know, I told you about this before. When someone says, oh, some people say this, you go, okay, how many? Who are those people? There's a majority, that's a minority. Are they idiots? Are they smart people? Do I care about them? Should I not care about them? You know, because some people are uh, insulted. Who are they? How many? Many people say, how many? You know, because they say this is a, a way of interviewing, you know, so they put pressure on you. And for me, I understood this in college in the United States of America when I had an idiot uh, assistant professor. He was had a PhD and I had a, I don't know what those guys were, it's ISS. It's Integrative uh, Social Science or something like this. And I was, what the hell is that? Well, I had to because uh, I had to at that time, so I took it. So I got this guy who was a not only dumb, but he was uh, an um, activist for a certain kind of country from around Mediterranean Sea. Anyway, he was not from there, but anyway, he was sold out. So he used to say this, many people say, some people say, and I, that was like, because it was a conversation very, very heated, I was like, who exactly? So that's the first time when I was like realizing, wait a minute, this guy makes up shit. So in a conversation and in, in uh, very heated debates with this guy in front of the whole class, which I was a pain in the ass, because I came from Romania and I thought in America you can speak up. And you couldn't, you still can, can, couldn't speak out, but I didn't receive the memo at that time. So I was no filter, unlike now. So anyway, uh, I understand what free speech means now. Be, uh, then when I came from the communist Romania, which did not allow us to speak, I came to the free world and I realized, what a minute, man, what's going on here? Well, it go, it's going on, it's a farce. Anyway, it's, uh, it's better. But it's way below, they said it is. Um, anyway, way down. But it's still the best. Still the best. But if this is the best we can create, then I would knock, knock and talk to that guy. Is this, are we still your best creation that you brag about? No answer. Okay, I think he's got a plan. And we don't know the plan. Anyway, let's go back here. So, this Poliever would ask the uh, same questions this guy regarding an issue. And the guy tries to frame Poliever in a certain kind of, together with Trump. Like, uh, Trump is bad and he's gonna, you're gonna see it. Let me just go to the article right here. And CBS, that's the proof right there. And here is the title of this garbage. Why is garbage? Because they, that's what they thought is important about the speech, about the interview. Polievre gets international attention for apple eating viral moment. So these guys from CBC, they insult the intelligence of the Canadian public and they divert from what this guy says or his way of saying it to uh, attention eating up uh, and scratching his balls. Okay, this is how these guys insult us daily, daily. They insult uh, us uh, intellectually. Who's Catherine? I thought it was Catherine Turner. <laughs> The one from the movies with, uh, what the hell is his name? Uh, with the, uh, whatever, you know. Douglas, Michael Douglas. Remember in the 80s, uh, the, mm, the Nile, the gem from the Nile or the diamond from the Nile, Catherine Turner. Anyway, she was the lady of that, the woman. Because you don't know if she was a lady. 
All right, so here is him, Polievru, and this is the interviewer. And I'm going to play this from, for you. And it's from minute almost 150, it goes with the garbage. So listen to how these guys ask the question and these guys, okay, what do you mean by that? It doesn't allow him, because that doesn't have evidence. He makes questions with statements and accusations. Ready, set, I hope it works. Okay. Um, on, the, on the topic, I mean, in terms of your sort of strategy currently, you're obviously taking the populist uh, pathway. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> well, ap appealing appealing to people's uh, more emotional levels, I would guess. Um, I mean, what certainly, you mean certainly, you, you certainly you tap, certainly Give you me tap an example. Uh, very strong ideological language quite frequently. Like what? Uh, left wing, you know, this and that, right wing, they, you know, I mean, it's that, that type of ideological thing. I never really talk about left but or right. But anyways, a lot I of people... I don't really believe in that. Okay. A lot of people would, would say that you're simply taking a page out of the... Donald Trump. Uh, Roger, book. like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but like who? <laughs> I don't know who, but well, you're um, the one who asked the question, so yeah. how, you must know somebody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's some out there, but anyways, the, the point of this, the point of this question is, I mean, why should why should Canadians trust you with their vote, given? You know, given not not just the sort of ideological inclination in terms of taking the page of Donald Trump's book, but what are you also... talking about? What page? What page? Can you give <laughs> okay. me a page? Give me the page. You keep <laughs> in, saying in terms, in terms of turning things quite dramatically in terms of of Trudeau and and the left wing and all of this. I mean, you you you, all of this. A, you know it's it's quite a play that you make on it. So I'm I'm not sure. Wondering. I don't under, I don't know what your question okay. is. Okay, then forget that. Why? <laughs> Did you hear this guy? Those people, some people, I don't know what people, many people, since you do. So he's accusing him of something. And the guy says, what do you mean by that? What do you mean left, right? Give me an example. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know, because he doesn't, he just lumped him in a certain kind of box. Like you are bad and you are this, like you are that, but you don't have examples. I love this. Please record it and keep it. The next time when you are in a conversation with someone and that one, Push, pushes you in a little, you know, you are a this, you are a east, you are a uh, anti this, you are an uh, you ask for examples. What example? How? What? What? Give me an example. What did I say? But well, you're back in town. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Animal cruelty. <laughs> Excuse me. We'd like to report. <laughs> he's, he's, he's on camera. <laughs> All right, <laughs> motherfucker. Anyway, yeah, you want to play now? Now is the time to play. Yeah. Anyway, this is uh, just keep this as a uh, he wants over there. That's the problem. I don't want him over there. And guess who's in charge? <laughs> Love and happiness. Anyway, so keep this in mind. They want to frame you. They come with a, a question where they already framed you as such as something something negative but you say stop hold on hold on what do you mean by that how did you get that where did you get that from who said that and so on genius and i will probably if you listen to this interview the from minute from minute zero right to 150 where i started i started this he's talking about something again that i talked about and that is the i would say the uh, dictatorship or the monopoly of certain kind of uh, industries that protect their industries by not allowing to have more doctors in this case. And he said, well, we have 50,000 doctors, we have, Canada has a shortage, shortage of, of doctors. And he says, well, we have about 50,000 doctors, his key claims, I don't know where he's got a study, uh, that we have about 50,000 doctors in Canada that cannot profess, cannot work. And he said, why don't we do this? Why? I know that for a fact. Uh, to be honest, I, I know people in the situation. Anyway, and they have uh, doctor degrees from abroad. When they come to Canada or United States of America, you are not recognized. You have to go back to school, the whole shit almost. And you pay $200,000 to be, a, again, a doctor that you learn what? To uh, work something else. Why do you think they're going to teach you something else? Nothing changed here or nothing changed here. It's the same here as it was in Romania, France, Bangladesh or Bolivia. Psst. 
But anyway, uh, they're going to give you different tools or something. God, it's just bureaucracy and money. So he said, why don't we just have them take a test? And if they pass, they're good to go. And then there's not going to be any more shortage. And he said, well, I'm going to be in problem and, and uh, I will have problems with um, the Canadian Medical Association or something like that, he said. And of course, and he said, common sense. I, I listened to the whole thing. It's 9 minutes, 32 seconds, the whole clip. Very interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm, he said a, a few things that he's like, that's why this guy from the Donald Trump's uh, page. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, no handouts and no programs, no garbage. But as I said, I made this video just to remember this. Keep it with you, learn it and use it. Because you want to deal in your life, I guarantee you, with this kind of weasels in your life when you're going to be called by your boss and is going to say, well, some people say that. What the fuck are you talking about? Right? That's happened to me. And I said, who said that? Well, if you don't tell me who said that, I can't defend myself. What exactly was said? Um, uh, 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 if you don't tell me, I'm not going to take it as a face value. That's true. You just assume something that someone said, and that must be true because someone said. You're asking me, right? So how can I defend myself if, if you don't give me the context? You don't give me the exact quote I said, the exact joke I made that someone might have felt offended. Why don't you bring that person in here if that person has a pussy? Because it was not with balls, guarantee you. It was a pussy. Yeah. So what the hell? So the same. Use these kind of things. And the guy was like, uh, 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 well, if you, don't, if you don't provide me with the exact quotation, I can't defend it. And I can't defend myself. So that's unfair. Fuck off. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't expect that one in his head. So again, my friends, use that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.